Welcome. Today I'm going to share with you about the edible oil refining. First, let's look on what is meant by the term refining. Refining implies a processing step that reduces or removes certain undesirable impurities in the crude edible oil. So, the primary goal is to produce a high edible quality edible oil that provides satisfactory results in an all oil applications. Okay. Now we look on into the methods of oil refining. Basically, we have two main processes. They are the physical refining or maybe it's a chemical refining. But actually, there's another refining process known as a co-refining process which is used primarily in the sunflower oil and other wax-bearing crude oils. But now, we look on into the two which are the physical as well as chemical refining process. The oil processing industries develop what is widely known in today as the physical refining process. This process has been found suitable for the type of crude oil that are high in the non hydratable phosphatides and those with high level of the free fatty acid. This process is especially beneficial for refining crude palm oil and coconut oil because of their low phospholipid as well as high FFA content. Chemical refining of either of these oil produces a very large amount of soap and that leads to the an excessive loss of neutral oil in the soap produced. This process is unsuitable for seed oil because of high level of phospholipid. Physical refining of the crude oil is carried out using the following steps. Number one, the crude oil is pre-treated with phosphoric acid or citric acid to hydrate hydratable phospholipid and chelate the trace metal impurities. This helps reduce the total phospholipids in the oil to a lower level. Second, the oil is bleached in a vacuum bleacher using acid activated clay. This removes the remaining phospholipid, trace metal, oil decomposition products, as well as the color bodies such as chlorophyll and carotene. Third, the bleached oil is filtered. The filtered oil is called refined and bleached oil. Fourth, the refined and bleached oil is deodorized at high temperature under a very low pressure or high vacuum using live steam to remove the free fatty acid, the monoglyceride, or decomposition products, etc. Fifth, the RBD or the refined, bleached, and deodorized oil is cooled, and then sometimes citric acid is added to the deodorized oil in order to chelate the metal ions to minimize the oil oxidation and store. And finally, the oil is also winterized or maybe hydrogenated as needed before it is deodorized, as well as antioxidants are added if needed by the end users. Let us look into the chemical refining process. In this process, the crude oil is pretreated with phosphoric acid and then neutralized with a caustic or the sodium hydroxide solution. This caustic reacts with the free fatty acid in the crude oil and produces soap, which is then separated from the refined oil in a primary centrifuge and the remaining mostly removed from the oil via water washing and separates the oil and water in a second centrifuge. This method is particularly suitable for refining such as crude soybean oil, the digam canola oil, crude safflower oil, as well as many of the other soft seed oils. This method, however, is not suitable for palm oil or coconut oil as low in phospholipid and they are do not absolutely require chemical refining. However, the chemical refining process is known to be more effective in reducing trace metals and phosphorus in these oils. So that's all from me and till we meet again, thank you.